Once we implemented this breakfast routine and method, things went infinitely better for us in the mornings. I think that kids like adults thrive on routine, but not necessarily monotony, right? So the beginning of the school year, my kids were giving me a lot of no's when it came to breakfast and we were starting to get to fights about it. And the thing was, I was offering them things that they liked, right? I'm like, I know you like bagels. I know you like eggs. But every time that I gave them a choice, they just said no, or they would say yes, and they would sit at the table and then just say, I don't want this. And I didn't know what to do. And I've heard this from a lot of other parents too, right? Mornings are tough and there's a lot of yelling and a lot of like, you're, just, you're trying to be a good parent. You're trying to get them out the door to school and you're trying to get them out the door with a full belly. It's very important that the kids go to school having eaten something, right? Or even just to start their day, even on the weekends. You know, comment below if you can relate to this, if you understand, you know, how we felt or still feel, um, if this was something that also has affected you. But I feel like I was lucky because a light bulb went off in my head when I saw the kids running to the lunch, the school lunch calendar to see what was for lunch. And the thing about the school lunch calendar is it's not that exciting. It's the same rotation of the same things. But what they were truly excited about was chicken sandwich Thursday. And they pretty much get just as lit up about pizza Friday. And I thought, you know what? What if we just did this at home? What if they had something exciting to run to or they had something to expect every day, something maybe that they were looking forward to? So I sat down with the kids and we created a breakfast schedule. We decided on some things that I knew that they liked, things that they had been saying no to before, um, and just made a, a schedule Monday through Friday, what they were gonna eat, what to expect. And on the weekends, we do something called family breakfast. It seems self-explanatory, but we'll talk a little bit more about that later in case you are interested in implementing that as well into your breakfast routine. So once you put together that schedule, I posted it up here on the wall and it's been a real win for us. Now they know what to expect. They have a routine and they've actually stopped saying no to their breakfast. And it's funny because I feel like this is the same stuff, but they have expectations, right? And it helps us too because we also have a morning schedule and that explains what time they're expected to have breakfast at so that that's no surprise as well. And I think that having one set item each day also kind of re relieves that decision fatigue, which is something that I don't like either. Like I don't like having too many choices, but I tend to give them too many choices, right? So I kind of know that about myself and doing this has really calmed things down for us. So it worked. Basically it worked and it still works. <laughs> it's wild. And so if you're also looking for stress-free mornings, I have created an ebook that you can download for free. It has all the step-by-step -step process on how to do it. I know it's pretty simple, um, but if you wanted that, you can get that. And included in that ebook are printables. You can get a copy of my morning schedule and breakfast schedule. These are just blank for you. You can fill these in yourself, print them out and write. Or if you want like a more curated option, there's also the option to click and go straight to Canva. Canva is an amazing editing tool. You just need to sign up, you can get a free account and it's not sponsored by Canva or anything. I just wanted to make sure there was an area, a space for you to easily type in uh, exactly what you wanted so that you could have your uh, setup like this too. And these fun things up here, they're a little bit of a pain to put up, but once they're up, they're beautiful. Uh, those are also linked down in the description box if you're interested. I do think an important part of having the schedule is having it somewhere where the kids can actually access it and go look. I mean, I, just this morning, Julian came to me and was like, what's, what's for breakfast? Oh wait, I know, I'm gonna go check. Uh, and it, it was awesome. And the ebook also has some free easy recipes to get you started as well. So for us, what we chose, um, we kind of went through things that the kids like. So for Monday, I actually made this decision based off of my needs. Uh, on Monday, we do cold breakfast, and that's just because it's hard to kind of get into the week, right? So, you know, always think about your routines and your schedules. There may be times when you have to leave earlier, times when you have to leave later, uh, and, you know, take that into account when deciding to make your schedule. For us, yes, Monday mornings, I want to ease into it pretty easily. I want to pour some cereal, you know? <laughs> I want to put some cream cheese on a bagel. Like, let's make it easy. Um, so that's the option that they have. They have cereal, they have a bagel, cream cheese, or a yogurt. And they always have fruit with their meals as well. Always try to make sure that they have something. And nothing too crazy when it comes to the fruit. I always make sure I have apples and bananas on hand because they're inexpensive and my kids like them. And they last a long time. Some fruits go bad more, quick, more quickly, but bananas and apples uh, last quite a bit longer. And when the bananas don't last, you can also put them in the freezer, which is a fun tip. Something I like to do so I can make banana muffins later. 
And if you're more of like a grab and go family in general and you're not gonna be cooking anything in the morning, I did make a list of 30 grab and go breakfast ideas and that's also included in that ebook. So I just wanted to make sure that uh, it was as robust as possible for you and that had everything that you would need in order to get your breakfast routine going. Uh, and it's completely free. And my littlest guy, he's a little bit different. So I have a six year old, an eight year old and a two year old and my two year old is much more of a snacker. Uh, and then the big guys. So he'll eat kind of like what they're eating, but a lot of times he kind of just munches all morning too. So he's not as particular or picky uh, when it comes to what he's going to have for breakfast. The plan really is designed for those school age kids. The main goal of this approach is to get the big kids out the door with a full belly and a smile on their face. So for us on Tuesdays, we do pancakes and I used to just make pancakes every Tuesday, but whew, that's a little tough these days. I feel like as I get uh, further on in my parenting journey, right? Things just get busier and more difficult and I don't know how I had the time to do what I used to do. And I'm just trying to come up with like time-saving activities most of the time these days, uh, which may mean less cooking, like less involved cooking, but just simpler things that will um, feed everybody uh, for less. And so now I do sheet pans pancakes and I make those once a month. I do a one month meal prep and that's something that you can also access down below in the description box. I have a whole video on it. Uh, it makes things really easy for me because I can just pull out pancakes on Tuesday. They're already in the freezer or I can pull them out to the fridge the night before, microwave them and we're ready to go. And the sheet pan pancakes are super easy because I don't have to flip every single one of them. You just make the batter up, uh, put that in the oven and it cooks and they're really delicious. Now, Wednesday is of course Waffle Wednesday. Uh, we've had debates about waffles in this house and you can comment below if you kind of have the same. Like I used to have like this fluffy waffle maker and the kids say they don't like fluffy, that they want to have Eggo waffles, which I do buy sometimes because it just makes it easier. But if I can prep waffles ahead, I do, but they didn't like the fluffy ones. So I ended up getting one of the uh, Dash waffle makers, which makes more waffles. <laughs> These are the things that moms think about, right? Like so many different ins and outs to like make things more efficient. Uh, but yes, Waffle Wednesday, we do what we can. If I can prep waffles, I do. If we buy waffles, that's fine too. For Thursday, now that we're ramped up into the week, we start having um, something that's a little bit more uh, time sensitive on my part. I make eggs and sausage. My kids love sausage with fruit. Friday, we do bacon Friday. Uh, so we do eggs and bacon and fruit and you know, all these things are interchangeable too, right? Like we know what to expect, but if we have if we have muffins like hanging around, maybe we'll have a muffin with, or maybe we'll have a muffin instead. Um, if donuts are in the house, that may change things. You know, it's not a completely structured thing. It's just the idea that they know what to expect. So we make adjustments. And you may find that you'll need to make adjustments like after the first week, you're like, they don't actually like that. They think they like that, but they don't actually like that. It's happened to me too. So it's something that, you know, it's fluid. If they get sick of the same thing after a month, week after week, switch it up again. You know, there's no shame in changing your game. What matters is the efficiency and what matters is those smiling faces and those full bellies. Yeah, my kids are excited about weekday breakfast now, which is amazing. And then on the weekends, I did promise you I'd tell you about our family breakfast. So I kind of use family breakfast on the weekends and my eight year old coined this phrase. So I think it's really cute. He's like, when are we going to have family breakfast again? I'm like, I love it. That's what it's called and simple, but, but enjoyable. I try and use this like a pantry clean out. So I just go in the fridge, try and find things. I mean, usually we have eggs. We're in an egg family. We enjoy eggs. Um, and then, you know, you could make a casserole if you find some things to do with that, like some extra vegetable scraps. Uh, we could do a quiche. You can make burritos if you have leftover tortillas. I just try and use up what I have. And that includes like fruit. So the, one of my favorite things is to use the fruit from the week that's left over that, like I said, maybe it's going bad. Um, just put it in a little bowl, cut up the odds and ends, and it's a fruit salad. And the kids love it for breakfast. So that's just another little, little thing that we do to make things easier. Also, you could do like breakfast potatoes with leftover potatoes. Pretty much inventory your kitchen real fast. Oh, make sure you make coffee first because the times that I have started... <laughs> cooking and not started the coffee I'm like oh. and then it's like time for breakfast and I don't even know my coffee made <laughs> very stressful so coffee first then inventory decide what you're gonna make start making things always do the eggs and the toast last because they take the least amount of time and then get your kids setting the table so also included in the ebook is this uh printable 
little uh, table setting guide for kids. It's super simple. Um, I didn't go into like crazy detail with the fork and the knife. I just wanted the plate to be in the middle and the fork and the knife to be left and right. And so it does help to have kids that can read in order to use this. Um, and then they can gather the condiments. They can take a look at what we're having. This works for dinner too and lunch. So get your kids involved, get them participating in family activities and doing chores and helping you out. Mostly helping you out. You need help. So you can't do it all. Get, get those kids involved. Or you can, you can hand this to your husband. <laughs> it's an option. Oh, another really good idea for a uh, family breakfast is like a taco bar. So if you have like any leftover tortillas that are like the smaller ones, you can actually put all the taco fixings and then just do scrambled eggs. And that is such a hit. So delicious. And again, if you're in a rush on the weekends heading to practices, I know a lot of times there's like early morning practices for kids. Use that list of 30 plus grab and go meals uh, and just have something on hand. You know, just make sure that you, I always try and keep yogurts, like go-gurts, that kind of stuff uh, just around so that if we need something, we have it. And you can always consider using my one month in one day meal prep. I'm gonna put that video up right here on the screen for you so you can click on it to watch it next. But basically I prepped an entire month of meals in just one day and that way you get breakfast and lunch for yourself and significant others. So this isn't like a ton of things for the kids, it's actually for the adults, it's for busy parents, um, but it'll get you fed so that you are ready to go uh, on the weekdays and not worrying about breakfast for yourself or lunch.